morning everybody how are we doing it's been a while since i last saw you i am so sorry there was no video last week which is actually it's meant to go live today the day i'm recording but by the time you see this it will be last week i'm so sorry i am being a massive people pleaser to everyone but myself and it's now gotten so bad that it's impacting you guys as well but i basically have been saying yes to way too many things i have been doing way too much i ended up making myself really ill because i wasn't prioritizing myself so things have been not so great my schedule has just been ridiculous both with work and with like personal stuff and then we've got the loft going on and basically the shiz hit the fan last week it was not good also sorry if the light in here is a bit weird i feel like i'm lit up here but not down here and it's making me look a bit strange. This scaffolding is just making it so there is like no light. There's like light in weird places because it's just, it's just there, it's just existing, but it's not really doing bits for me filming in my house at the moment. Everything just looks so strange. It's like winter, but worse. Not loving life as you can tell. So yeah, I am sorry there was no vlog last week, but I'm feeling a little bit better now. And I'm also just aware of what was happening and what i need to be changing which is always good basically just need to start saying no to everyone even if it's people i love like i just need to start saying no anyway that's it's not going to make sense unless i go into it in depth and i actually really don't want to and no one's actually going to want to hear about it so we're just going to leave it at that but basically i've been being dumb and that is the end of it <clears throat> that is so nice so this is tom ford cafe rose it's unreal it's like velvet orchid by Tom Ford, but it's got like a rosier, obviously, a rosier element to it. Really lovely, I, a big fan. So hopefully we are back to it now. I knew I would have shot myself in the foot the second I said that I'd hired an editor and that things would now be good from here on out. Of course, the following week, there is no video. But anyway, I have started the day today as I meant to go on, just like sorting the house out, sorting out washing. So we actually went on a little, trip to Greece this week. Again, this is an example of me saying yes to things I shouldn't be saying yes to because it wasn't even a trip that I could like document and work on. It was, Ryan was meant to be playing a show and he'd booked to have like a friend go out with him and it was meant to be a boys weekend. Long story, but his friend couldn't come. And so I didn't want him to go to Malia for two days on his own because that's not really, it's not really vibes going there on your own. This is not... There we go. So I went to the most off-brand place for me. Couldn't really work. I mean, I have one Instagram photo, I think, from that trip where I tried to make, I tried to give Malia a little rebrand. <laughs> it's basically most of the photo is sky, so you probably would never even know that that's where it was. I have no business saying yes to going to Malia. I had way too much work. It's not somewhere I'm able to work. I was not able to vlog whilst I was there. It's just being a nice, supportive girlfriend who didn't actually even end up going to the show that he was playing because we went out for dinner and then I fell asleep because his show was at like two in the morning but actually he didn't he was like please don't come you're not going to enjoy it and it's probably right and outside of that I have had like a lot of meetings and a lot of things to sort over the last couple of weeks I'm leaving my management and it's not like anything dramatic but it's just something that I have decided to do but there's a lot of like admin that's been associated with that like lots of stuff that I need to go through contracts have had to be read meetings have had to be had so it's just one of those things where it's like an extra thing added to my plate on top of Reno on top of Ryan's 30th which the celebrations still continue because we're going away tomorrow there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on right now I actually I need to like schedule nothing in for next july august because there's actually like four of my loved ones birthdays in the space of a week it's actually it's too it's too much it's too much for me so yeah next year we're scheduling nothing in i mean by the time we've finished this loft conversion i will not be able to afford to do things next year so it's probably the best just kidding i'm kidding I shouldn't say things like that because someone will remember and then they'll bring it up every time i choose to spend my money on frivolous things like in this vlog anyway this is my very unironed but still cute outfit of the day today. I'm wearing this top and skirt set from River Island of all places. I actually did a fairly like sizable order from them. I just saw loads of things that I liked, which is so rare. So did a little order and I really like this. You can tuck it if you want, if you want like a, a bit more of a shape, which is also really nice. I actually can't decide which one I like more. Both are nice. This is like the after you've eaten version. 
<laughs> of this outfit. My earrings are from Etsy. I'll link everything in the info box. You hear the pitter patter of little feet. Hello. Hello. My necklace is Edgevember Victoria Gaia collection. Rings are from Astrid and Miu. And then my bracelets are, I think, mostly Monica Vinida. There's one from Etsy and then one is Astrid and Miu. I will link them. But that is my outfit of the day. I want to show you everything that I bought this week because there are some really cute pieces and may have been a bag purchase, you guys. Lovely bit of scaffolding here, yeah. There was a bag purchase this week. I was left unsupervised in Selfridges, which rarely happens anymore. But I had a lot of time. I'm, I'm blaming the train strikes. I'm blaming the train strikes. I had a lot of time to kill between a meeting I had the other day and my train home because there's like a reduced service running at the moment, turning into a very expensive situation for me. I went for a walk because I'm trying to just walk everywhere at the moment. I'll talk to you about that later in this vlog. I went for a little walk, Selfridges, and then planned on walking back down from Selfridges to Victoria, which is my train station. Had a little browse of a lot of different places, a lot of different bags, and then I went into Dior, and I never usually see anything in there that I'm like, like I always look at the Lady Dior's and I that is one of my dream bags that is on my wish list. I know which one I want and I have a specific occasion that I would like to buy this specific style of bag for in the future. But I'm not, I'm saving it. I'm just saving it because they keep a lot of stuff really like going over and over again. But I saw a bag in Dior that I loved and I just, I had this gut feeling and I've had this gut feeling on a few bags that I bought last year and they've turned out to be my most worn bags. So the ones I love the most tend to be the ones I overthink the least and I have like a gut instinct for. And this was one of those bags. So I will unbox that with you in a bit but my question being is this slightly irresponsible i obviously am able to do this it's not irresponsible in the sense of like spending money i don't have but it, i did feel a bit weird like is it slightly irresponsible to be buying bags whilst you're doing a loft conversion maybe i don't know i've had one of my busiest summers literally of the last how long have i been doing this full time seven or eight years literally had one of the busiest best summers so i've been indulging in a little bit of irresponsible behavior here is it irresponsible i leave it down to you guys to judge me it's fine we have a lot to get through today i also need to pack because we are going to soho farmhouse tomorrow gave ryan a few options for his birthday trip this year and he of course picked the one that we could take the dog with us on so we're taking shrimpy on her first ever vacay and i need to get packing for that so mega excited i just think it's gonna be so cute and i also desperately need to go to the gym and go and get food because we landed from greece yesterday i have massively forgotten the fact that it's a sunday and the shops will be closing very soon so we need to crack on i'm gonna stop waffling and let me show you the things that i have picked up this week also can we take a moment for the dining table and the kitchen because this is the one room that doesn't make me want to cry and tear my hair out at the moment because it actually is slightly in order unless you look over here and then it's not but the rest of it stunning the rest of my house looks like this yeah just know this is what i'm dealing with and to the lovely girlies who suggested that i work from ryan's studio <laughs> ryan's studio is completely a mattress on the floor right now because as you could, could probably tell we don't have a mattress on our bed we are sleeping in the garden <laughs> in his studio so yeah there's actually like no i there's not even really space for me to like properly sit down and work and show you things it's absolutely chaotic right now i spend no time in here i literally spend all of my time just sitting on the mattress in his studio if he's not working it's embarrassing but sorry really not getting on with the things that i need to be showing you look at this you hear the sounds of the outside world yeah this is why we can't be living in here or <laughs> sleeping in here because it's not actually all closed off. Let me show you quickly. I actually wasn't planning on showing you a little update yet, but might as well whilst we're here. So walls are kind of starting to go in. Insulation is in. Wow, it's very windy today. If you haven't seen the previous vlog, this is going to be the loft. This is a spare bedroom. Over here is going to be a bathroom. Listen to that. This is why we can't sleep in our bedroom because we can hear that from our bedroom. This is going to be my office and wardrobe room all in one so we get rid of the two not get rid of we utilize like at the moment i take up two bedrooms downstairs both of them are going to be freed up and move into here one of them will become a bedroom and then the wardrobe room has become the staircase room and it will be a utility area and then we have this room here and then the other one downstairs that i freed up that was my office they're both going to be actual 
bedrooms. So it's very exciting. I also wanted to quickly, because I'm well aware that I'm waffling and I actually didn't plan on having this chat with you and I really do need to get on and show you the things that I need to show you this week. But whilst I'm here and I remember, I thought I would talk you through it because there were quite a few questions in the comments of the last video. And I have done a video previously that explains in quite a lot of detail why we're doing what we're doing to this house. It's a big project, a really big project. It's quite a lot of cash up front as well. Like if you've done a loft conversion, you'll know they're just absolutely extortionate. Basically lots of people are like, why aren't you selling Ryan's house and just buying a new one together or why aren't you selling Ryan's house and like using it to fund this and the answer to that is because it doesn't end up with him being the most financially well off. If we're both financially stronger then we're both what then we both just work better as a team if that makes sense so that's why we're not doing that and we also didn't want to buy one house together because then if we ever had a situation in the future where we couldn't pay the mortgage then we'd have to like uproot our whole lives move house whereas now we can like choose to sell one of the houses so we're kind of just like doing the thing that's harder because it makes us better off in the long run if that makes sense and i know a lot of you have also said why are you doing this because i remember when you moved in and you said that you would never do a loft conversion and i did always say that because at the time when i bought this house covid hadn't happened lockdown hadn't happened i bought this house in january 2020 like that was when it all started going through my sale was accepted like the whole process started and at the time I had no idea that all of this was gonna happen. I kind of thought that we might have a couple of years of like living separately and then we probably would have like sold and moved in together, sold both places and all of that. However, lockdown then happened and we both had periods of time where neither of us could work. Like my job stopped for a few months, Ryan stopped for longer and it highlighted to me how important it is to make sure that you are comfortable and not overstretching yourself into me doing this and allowing us to have a bigger house but on the same mortgage if we wanted to move house and get the size of house that we needed and do all the renovations that we would have needed to do because we need a working space each and all of that what we wanted we were going to have to move like much much th further north i didn't want to uproot ryan from his life down here he's very social he loves like his football and his five aside with his friends if we have a family i feel like it's just important that we are around our people. Like it takes, it really does take a village. And actually it's so important that we we stay local to where we are. So rather than move us really far out to comfortably get the size of what we needed for the price that was comfortable for us, we knew this was comfortable for us. So we decided to just make the house bigger. There's nowhere, there's no other way that we would have got a four bedroom house with all of the features like the location that my house has a studio for ryan a big back garden like all of that kind of stuff that i really want for having like a family in future and stuff like that we would never have got that for the price that we're paying on this mortgage so that was the reason why i decided to do the thing that i said i'd never do i said i would never do this and here i am standing in my loft conversion but i will link the previous video where i've talked about deciding to do the loft conversion but hopefully for those of you that have joined a lot more recently this kind of helps you understand why we're doing what we're doing because i think most people think like for the money why would you not just move but i just i just love being by the beach and it's near to a lot of other stuff like it's just it's a very good location it made the most sense to kind of like push ourselves now to be more comfortable long term and hopefully later in life this will pay off I really hope so anyway. That's my little Renault FAQ. Hopefully it makes this make a little bit more sense to those of you that had lots of questions. Honestly, I need to get out of here. There's basically no roof. Stairs. Oh, what a novelty. This was my wardrobe room for those of you that saw it. So this is gonna be all boxed in. So we have lots of storage because this house actually came with like zero storage. I can't even explain zero there's the kitchen island which has a cupboard and then there's a cupboard in the hallway that is like this thin that we can basically just about hang dressing gowns up in you can't even really get like a puffer coat in there because ryan has this giant puffer coat that barely even fits in his wardrobe let alone anywhere else so i want to kind of have an under the stairs storage space for like his coats and then like toolboxes hoovers wellies like all of those things like i used to keep my wellies in the loft because there just was nowhere to keep them. So it will just be a really useful little storage space. We've got an ensuite upstairs, so we don't need to turn it into like a tiny bathroom or anything. And then on this wall here, we will have like a utility area and it's just gonna be amazing. It's just exactly what we need. As a household that has minimal storage, 
it's going to be unreal so we're going to have utility area all along here i'm going to move my washing machine from the other room it is on the back of this wall so we're just going to switch the side of the wall that it's on have a washer maybe a tumble dryer if i'm feeling really bougie but i feel like that's for a long time away you know then i'd also like a kind of unit that we could have like a air fryer on and all of those things that ryan really wants to have and i keep begging him not to have because we just don't have the room for air fryers and stuff like that in our kitchen at the moment so yeah it would just make everything a lot more functional for us as like a household of two but then also like a growing household at some point and then we're gonna hopefully take this doorway and arch it over so it makes it not like a room i'm also gonna take this door off like immediately i just don't want this to feel like we've got stairs in a room we obviously currently do but long term don't want it to feel like that's just a room like i want it to be a part of the hallway that also explains this random piece of wood in my hallway because that is the stair banisters i think anyway i'm going to show you what i bought this week i'm about to show you the result of my potentially irresponsible behavior but also those of you who petitioned for the chair to stay for shrimparella will be pleased to know that it is still there anyway <laughs> i love this bag so much i already unboxed it so this isn't really an unboxing i just put it in the dust bag it doesn't really feel like a reveal if it's not in a dust bag you know this i think is a new like a brand new style of dual bag it's just unreal oh, let's sort this out sorry she's feeling a bit out of sorts she's just come back off a flight this is the lady is it the De lady d joy i'll pop a link to it below so it comes in this new rectangular style and i honestly when i just saw it online i was kind of like mm, yeah cute i saw it in real life and i have to say like i prefer it in the embroidered kind of style i don't love it in the leather with the quilting even though the lady dior bags with the quilting sensational i love it but in this style i just think the embroidery it hits different it is so stunning i also love this color palette it is just the black and the nude which are two colors that i don't i would not normally put black and nude specifically together especially in terms of a bag is never something that i would have thought i would love but i looked at this bag and i was like that is going to be such a great addition to my wardrobe winter summer spring autumn like this is one of those bags that's going to do everything she's beautiful and i love this i haven't had this i don't know what you call this but i haven't had the little jangly bit on a bag before and i really like that so yeah she's beautiful you can have your initials like or name put on the back as well if you want to but you have to like give the bag up for like a month and i don't really want to do that the things i love about it number one comes with a little shoulder chain big big fan of it for that because that is the perfect i obviously love it as a top handle it's super cute it makes it a really good day to evening bag it's got your top handle it's got your chain it also comes with a long strap which we will get to in a second but also another reason why i love it is you can actually close the top it has a top closure so it's got this flap that you just lift up and then you tuck it back in it's got a couple of pockets on the inside not that it's really big enough to like need pockets but it does have a couple i just think it is wonderful the wear and tear on it is going to be terrible i know that already because i have the monogrammed book tote the handles on that did wear very very quick though i would say that's the only way to hold a book tote whereas this has multiple ways in which i can hold it so i'm hoping it might hold up a little bit better because of that and i'm also scared to wear this with very dark colors because i'm worried of transfer but we will see how we go with that also love that the shoulder chain is removable and let me talk to you about the strap it comes with this lovely reversible strap which is included in the price you don't have to pay extra unlike with the saddle bag which lots of you will know i have so i can wear this as a crossbody if i want i will probably only do that in the winter because this is not an adjustable length strap and me with my short body it's very very long on me if i'm just wearing like a loose outfit but over a really heavy thick coat it probably will kind of like sit a little bit higher and it might be just perfect however you remember me saying you have to pay extra for the saddlebag strap i now have a saddlebag strap that i didn't have to pay a silly amount of money for lots of people were shocked when i got the saddlebag but i didn't buy the strap to go with it i have to say i'm not a massive crossbody gal i'm just not i don't love it i love a little tiny shoulder strap kind of bag much prefer to wear my bags that way however just having the option now to have this as a crossbody i'm i'm not unhappy about it and this does sit slightly higher because of where i can attach the strap this sits slightly higher than this would with the strap so i'm probably going to get the most wear out of the strap 
on my saddlebag. And I cannot tell you how chuffed I am that I now didn't buy the strap. So I got one free, but not free, obviously. But it feels like I got it for free and that's goals. So yeah, that is what I bought this week in terms of like a ridiculously bougie purchase, but I am oh, just, just love it. So stunning. So, so stunning. That's my very bougie purchase for the week, but I'm gonna show you the bits that I picked up from River Island now because they are stunning. Okay. This is like the most on me haul ever. I don't even have the bag that it came in. Obviously you've seen the little cord that I'm wearing. I love this cord so much. I also picked up this little like play suit. It's just plain black strapless it's actually got pockets on the front as well it looks like a skirt on the front but it's shorts at the back really nice for just like evenings out though i would say it's like a not a jersey material it's you know like school trouser material i don't know what that material is called it's giving like a little bit more formal than like daytime appropriate so this is definitely like a little evening number that i will wear with like a strappy black pair of heels i've actually done a little tiktok which if it's live i will pop on screen that'll give you an idea of like how i would style it it's very very cute we'll swipe forward i'm gonna show you that now so this is the black dress it's so simple but so lovely a really great one for whether you're in the uk or whether you're abroad i just think it's so nice and this is one of those items that i think you can wear with heels or without i just think it will look really lovely either way i actually have just rolled it up one so that it sits at like the perfect point for like my torso length and yeah just fits perfectly the skirt is like a great length on me the pockets are a really nice touch as well not that we ever like why do they girls get so excited about having pockets and stuff but like do we ever use the pockets on things like this like what would you put in that because like you put your keys in there and why is it girls keys have so much stuff on it like boy keys do not have the same the same like mass as girl keys i actually don't know what i put in the pockets of this i think it would ruin the silhouette but it does have pockets which i know we all get very very excited about so yeah love this let me know what you think continuing with the theme of cords i picked up two and i really try now not to buy things in doubles because i just find it doesn't work out well for me but i couldn't resist these two cords in the different colors so it's like the police police material that kind of like very textured ruchy kind of material and if you're a shorter girl you need to get on board with this material in every in any style of clothing because you can cut the edges like this is i did a terrible job at this so just don't look too hard but you can cut the edges and it doesn't fray so i always just cut trousers like this down to my size and it just makes my life so so easy so i cut it so that it skims the floor so those are the trousers and then it also comes with a strapless top as well in the same material and it's got like a tie back situation and then like a dipped back they're just lovely also this is so long but on me it can actually double as a dress like a little summery like bikini cover-up kind of dress it was actually quite handy in greece the two together look so lovely it's such a gorgeous minimal vibe and i'm just i really really love it this is the black cord just to give you an idea of what it looks like the trousers do look a little bit long but i kind of left them longer so that i could wear them with like a heel and when i wear them with a chunky sandal it actually just sits on top of the sandal and doesn't go on the floor so it's working out very very well and i also have space to roll them up as well if i want to so i can have them sitting a little bit higher but yeah loving this little set kind of a braless situation though unfortunately i don't really mind but i know that is a real deal breaker for a lot of people and the cold looks really really cute as well with the saddlebag and strap which i love i wore this so much when i was in greece and i wore the trousers with and without the top and like i said the top makes like a nice little bikini cover up if you're a shorter girl because when you actually pull it fully down it's quite long the trousers i have just been wearing a lot with like a black vest top over the past week and you could also if you wanted if you aren't a fan of like the long top you could also tuck this and give it a different look but i just really love it this way i just think it's so nice and so different to like everything else i own in my wardrobe by the way it's not actually that loose like you can decide how tight it goes at the back i just have just thrown this on really quick and not done it up tight enough big big fan of this so yeah i also have the same cord in this cream tone which is lovely i actually was meant to wear this in greece and i didn't in the end because i put it on i was doing my makeup and i looked down and there is my nars blusher all down me little hack for you do not touch it leave it get it home 
get your Garnier makeup remover because that stuff I swear that you should not put that on your face <laughs> I actually I very rarely use it on my face I use it to clean makeup off of stuff I use the makeup remover on my top and actually it worked a lot better this is where the stain was i can't even see it to my eye but maybe it will show on camera but so so sharp with that so yeah i will show you those two little cords now this is the cream version the cream version i would probably to be safe like i don't think it needs it but to be safe i'd probably wear like a nipple cover with just because i feel like it's 90 percent opaque there's like this 10 percent i feel like in some lights i just don't feel completely covered i don't know i don't know anyway i will probably wear like a cover just to be sure also this top i swear runs slightly longer than the black top and the bottoms run ever so slightly tighter than the black bottoms do i got everything in the same size but yeah i think the the consistency between the colors is not there but the thing i really like about these tops is that actually if you want to you can like roll them ever so slightly shorter which is great as well i love the white i just think it's so beautiful it makes me feel very bronzy even though i literally have no fake tan on at the moment i just think it's so gorgeous for like holiday but also just like nice summer evenings like this is one of those kind of sets that works whether you're on holiday or you're in the uk and i think that's really lovely i almost forgot these bits that i picked up from net forte last week i got this brown cord which i think you will have seen me wear in the last vlog it's like a brown knitted cord from a brand called deja studios i love it it's just the easiest thing to throw on around the house but also looks nice if i like need to nip out as well i'll show you this on it's just absolutely gorge i am really really happy with it i love the cardigan as well just on its own i don't love the bottoms so much on their own they have this like pleating over the hips that i don't really love because my hips are quite wide i just don't find it super flattering on me but both of them together with this over is just perfect i love it and because we've had such a cold snap lately it's been unreal for me i've been throwing this wool cord on literally every morning this is the brown deja studio set it's really cute really nice and easy it looks great with my slippers which makes me so happy and yeah it's just a really great throw on set for around the house and it's nice that i'm kind of getting wear out of it all year round because it was a little bit more spinny so i guess it's great that i can wear it in the summer because it's so cold. <laughs> I mean, it probably isn't appropriate for anyone other than me to be wearing this in the house. Everyone else would probably be boiling, but I'm still missing doors and windows upstairs and they've now knocked through, so it's extra cold. It's really saving me right now. I'm gonna stop moaning about my house as well because I fully like, I know I've made my bed. This is my doing, but yeah. My point being, it's great for me to wear right now because it's cold and I just love it. I think it's such a nice little color. I'm loving browns at the moment, browns and neutrals, not like, beigey browns like browns like a rich brown i really like that so yeah love this and this will work so nicely with like jeans and trousers and stuff like that as well so it's one of those items that i'll get a lot of wow then i also got this which i need you to help me with i need your opinions because i think i should see if they do it in a size extra small i got it in a size small and it's just a little bit too roomy on me but i love the color i love the style I, it's going to be like a really lovely bikini cover up i think for the last of my summer trips i think this could be a bit of a hit or miss one in terms of like whether you guys love it or not but i think it's really really nice just with a pair of like birkenstocks or like gladiator sandals just a really nice pair of sandals a kind of chunky maybe or like flip-flop style this will be um, real it's a little bit roomy around my waist so i feel like i should maybe get it in an extra small but let me know what you this think this is the dress and it looks even worse on camera than it does in real life so i think this is gonna have to go back it just does, it gives nothing here i don't know if you can see like this is where my body actually is and that's what it's like adding to the side so it's just not there's a lot of material here the more i wear it as well the longer it is like stretching out so it now actually when i first tried it on it didn't sit on the floor <laughs> and now it is so i think this is one for the tall girlies i do wonder if i got an extra small whether it would be tighter and then shorter but it's just no it's actually getting worse like the longer that i am wearing it i hope you guys can see the vision i thought this would be so cute like on holiday in ibiza but it's just uh, honestly it's just not it's not giving mad i'm flattering it's getting worse the longer that i wear <laughs> this is a no this is a no the rest of that net porter order was great i actually also didn't show it but i ordered another skims vest top i already had the gray one which you will have seen i got the black one it's so good i just love their vest tops so much they fit so nicely but it's in the wash so 
can't show it to you. But this, this ain't it. Like I could probably make it look great for photos, but no, it's too expensive to like be making something look good for the pics. This one's going back. I don't even need your opinions now. It's not, it's not vibes. Also the lighting in here is so bad as well, which really isn't helping. I need the scaffolding down immediately. That's everything I bought this week. Now I need to get packing. I need to go to the gym. I need to go get food before the shop shut. I need to stop the magpies eating my tomatoes. Oh my God. I keep having to chase them away. They keep eating my tomatoes but oh my god you guys <laughs> look at this they are outrageous that this is where we've been snaffling away at them i keep finding tomatoes just like on the ground look at the size of these that is insane giant tomatoes and then we've got little tomatoes as well we've got more over here another giant one here oh my god i literally cannot wait to eat these they need to ripen immediately more little green ones here look at this this these are all the ones they like peck off it's very annoying. Oh my god, there's another giant one. Wow. Oh my god. They're everywhere. Literally everywhere. Got courgettes coming through as well. Got beans. So many beans. So I am just getting ready to go get some food for this evening and then also go for a little 5k little cute mental health walk. I was gonna go to the gym but actually the weather's looking like it's holding up so I get to go outside today which is great for my brain. I realised that I've done that thing that I was literally talking about earlier where I like take on too much and just keep trying to people please and I've done it this morning even after identifying that this is what I've been doing. <laughs> this is how hard the habit is to break. Brian earlier was like oh I'll get some food on my way back from football and I was like oh no it's fine because it'll be quite tight timings for you because the shop shut really early so like no, it's fine. I'm gonna go get the dinner. I, don't, I have a lot of things to be doing. I've got a lot of work to catch up on. I have a lot of packing to do. I have a lot of cleaning to do. I've just realized that I've done it again, but this is just a small example of how easily I have been overloading my days. And this is why Ryan gets time to chill in the evening and I don't because I just keep adding more to my plate and I don't even realize I'm doing it. And I'm about to do it and I just think, Wow, I didn't need to be the person that was doing this. Why do I need to be the person that was doing this? Why did I volunteer? I'm not the chef. I'm not even cooking tonight. Why do I need to go? Just let the bloke buy you some food, woman. This is where being like hyper-independent is no good for you. This is my little workout OOTD. Also, I'm so sorry if this vlog is like incredibly chaotic. I mean, if it comes across as that, it's because I actually am. I'm just so hell-bent. Like I'm getting back on track with vlogging and having more vlogs for you guys like backed up that i am actually verbal diarrheaing at the moment like <laughs> this is not okay i think i've already like maxed out the limit of what i should have been vlogging today like this vlog is going to be really long so <laughs> so sorry if it comes across as chaotic and it's real like chaotic energy and it's not enjoyable for some of you to watch just know that it's like this is what it's like for me being in my brain at the moment <laughs> yeah let's go <laughs> Thank you. 